Hi there, Rick Leinecker here. In this presentation we will average a set of numbers using C++. Okay, so first I'm going to create a project and I will call it Average Numbers. Finish up. Okay. So we're going to take this in steps. The way you actually average numbers is you divide the total by the number of numbers. In other words, you might have a list of numbers and you add them up and then you divide by however many numbers you had. So we're first going to just add up numbers. So let's create a variable called total. Make sure you initialize it to zero. Since it's a local variable, you need to do that. If you don't, it will crash. Now, let's use, an, uh, let's use a for loop for i equals 1, i less than equal to 10. We'll add up 10 numbers. And this is probably something I haven't shown you yet. You can actually declare a variable right there inside of the for loop. Okay, printf. Please enter a number. Let's go ahead and add another variable up here called this number. Okay. Do a scan f. This number. Now, if we ran this program, it would let them type in 10 numbers. The problem is this total variable up here hasn't been updated at all. So in other words, to update that, we need to go ahead and each time through add the value that the user typed in. Now at the very end, we're just going to tell them what the total number is. The total is percent D. Total. Now let's go ahead and comp compile this. Let's just run it to make sure it works okay. Uh, three, four, let me just do something really easy. Oops. Oops. That went away really fast because I didn't realize how many numbers I had. I know, big excuse, right? There's 10 numbers. Okay. The total is 45. Good. Um, now, this to me is a problem, 1 to 10, meaning we always have 10 numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a variable called number of numbers. And we're going to add a little heading here. This program will average some numbers. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to ask them how many numbers do you want to average? let them type it in. This way, we're not telling them every time it has to be 10. Okay. Now, think about it. Where should this variable go? Shouldn't go there. That's where we're starting. Shouldn't go there. That's the operation. Should go right here. That's how many numbers we have. Oops. Okay. So let's go ahead and compile and test this. Remember, I always recommend you compile and test. Often, let's do four numbers. Four, five, six, seven. Total is 22. Very good. Now, all we have to do to calculate the average, let's create a variable for, for average. We'll say average equals total divided by the number of numbers. The total is percent %d, and the average is percent %d. And don't forget we have to add average out here. Okay? Compile that guy. Run it. Say five numbers. Okay. Now, a couple things you might want to add to this. Please enter <coughs> 
up here where it says please enter a number you might want to tell it which number they're entering okay so please enter number percent D and make that I and then that way as they enter it it says um, please enter number one two three four and so forth and that's kind of nice for the user another thing that you might want to do to this program is that this average is an integer so it's going to round off um, you're going to get a round off error so what you could do is say make this a float and you'd have to cast these to float you don't have to do this by the way this is just an option and I would make this uh, an F since it's a float and actually I just just want two decimal places there not a bunch normally I think by default it gives you six decimal places okay four numbers four three two one oops operator error okay so now it gives you the average as a decimal number which is really a little bit better since the round off error may um, be something that's uh, n not advantageous to your application okay so that wraps it up how to um, average a set of numbers in C++ using a for loop